Hi there, boys and girls. It's I Suck Sticks Heart Cinema Episode 4. It's just Scott here with a quick intro recorded after the show. Just to let you know that for this episode, we talked way too long. So we are splitting it up into two much more manageable episodes, Episodes 4 and 4.5. This is Episode 4. Watch this, or listen to it, because there's nothing to watch. And then we'll release 4.5 shortly after, so you can get the full experience in a more manageable way. And now, on with the show. Hey, what's up, movie town? Hi! Oh, man, the levels are way up on that. Whatever. Enjoy that, your ears. Yeah! Anyway, what is this? Ice Ice Sticks, Heart Cinema, Episode 4, by my count. I don't know what your count's at. Probably also four if you're doing it right. Mine's also at four. Good. All right, who we got? We got me, Scott. We got Drew to my diagonal. Hi. To my lesser diagonal, Kelly. (laughs) A.K.A. Chuckles. Yeah, they were Palooza. And way in the back, further than Fleet Foxes stand from their microphones. I do like them. (laughs) Is Justin Chu. A.K. Big China. A.K. Big China. I made it. Where they had a little trouble. I made a reference to Fleet Foxes on my Facebook. Although Mum- mumble more for the... Mumble more. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know if it was a, it was a reference to their, their lead singer. Um, Being at a Scar Brothers show in Bellevue? No, he he did a... a he just did some like benefit thing, and he just he was a, he did solo, because he does solo stuff. Yeah. He, he sang a <laughs> magnetic field song. Uh... He called Book of Love, and I just got this thought where, I don't know if, Patton Oswalt did a thing, I don't know if anyone's ever heard it, where he does a thing on Cheetos, where if you're at a party and you see a hot chick you want to get with and a bowl of Cheetos, you've got a decision to make. <laughs> you ain't doing both. <laughs> you ain't, cause, so, and he did, Those are mutually exclusive activities. So... I my kind of reference was Pat Oswalt's reference, which was I would run up to uh, the singer with a bowl of Cheetos and smear it all over my face, going, "Hey, do you like the magnetic field?" <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> he'd be into it though, probably, because he's not a he's not a slight gentleman either. No, but he, he's uh, he's got social anxiety. Like, yeah, he yeah, which he, is great for performers. performers yeah. Him and He's fine. The singer of Sky. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Got scared of cameras. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Which is, I'm going to say, second only in stupid reasons to leave band next to uh, Dennis DeYoung from Styx uh, developing an allergy to light. <laughs> 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 Which is why Styx stopped doing concerts. So that's all interesting. But you know what? This is not I Suck Styx Loves Music. That's another podcast to be recorded. Never. I don't think, I don't think we could do it because Dan would find out and ruin it. <laughs> <laughs> Does Dan listen to these? I don't think so. He, he listened, listened to the first one. And he listened to the last one, so at the oh. very least he's listened to two of three, so... Yeah, but see, he missed the one in between, play, so he's going to miss this one. Play the oh, odds. He yes. missed the one and three, so he's going to miss two and four. There you go. The odds. I heard the this, is, this, is, patterns. Yeah. this is a strong or weak rumor, depending on who you talk to, but I hear that Dan will be on in person, episode five. Says Dan or says you? Says Dan. So, take it for what you will. Just to make reference, I will not be on the <laughs> show. I, I don't want my dreams crushed. Are you, are you busy that day? What day is it? Well, I was hoping you would say yes, and then I, then I was going to say it, but I haven't told you what day it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, I ruined that joke, so yeah. rewind. <laughs> Edit. <laughs> anyway, so we got our three-minute ramble out of the way. <laughs> uh, we're going to go slightly different format, or slightly just more structured format, I guess, today. What we did was we all, yeah, open the bottle as close to the microphone as you possibly can. Didn't make as much noise as I wanted it to. We, the four of us, four of us just watched a bad movie, and in the (laughs) style of another podcast we know and love, known as How Did This Get Made, we are going to discuss the movie we just watched, and in fact, how it got made. That movie was the 2009 classic, I believe, Oscar... Oscar nominee for Best Picture, I don't believe it won, Paul Blart, Mall Cop. <laughs> so, first half of the show is going to be talking about what the hell went on in that movie, and second half is going to be games, at which point Kelly will be departing 
because he is already well past curfew. Now, I have a question. Do we ever come up with anything original, ever? No. Or are we just a band of miscreant no. stealers? I feel if we... Like Pittsburgh? <laughs> I feel if we eventually steal enough different things and mash them all together, it'll feel like we aren't stealing anything. Like, in, like 17 wrongs will make a right. So this is like, we're like the girl talk of podcasts. Yeah, the girl talk of podcasts. <laughs> we take as many podcast that, ideas and bits and make it into our own. Exactly. I thought you just meant we were four girls talking. <laughs> that as well. <laughs> Either way, we are absolutely the girl talk of podcasts. <laughs> hey, stop being so quiet over there. Guy, I oh. am waiting for something. Well, because you're passing your fur few. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Combination of curfew and fur. All right. I wouldn't be as worried about it if I didn't have uh, the insomnia that I have, where I wake up every couple hours and can't really sleep. In in a panic? Sometimes. <laughs> that's why, that's why well, you take your bottle of Jack before you go to bed. <laughs> Kelly, all I need to say is just wait for Seattle. <laughs> well, that's You'll be sleeping like a baby. Now, nobody listening knows what's happening in Seattle. Uh, but hey, Kelly's the only one that needs to know that. <laughs> why, do I, why do I need to know? What? Wait, what? Don't worry about it. We'll tell you later. No, we'll tell you right. off air. Tell me now. <laughs> All right, just so people aren't confused, we won't be taping a podcast episode the weekend of why not? September 27th to 30th. There's no reason why we can't. We can do one in the hotel. I guess we could do one in the hotel. Anyway, we're going to be in Seattle that weekend. For what? I don't know. On the road. For what? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to that later. It's only July now. Anyway, Paul Blart, what the fuck? Uh, <laughs> you know Paul what? Paul Blart, <laughs> Not, oh, not, not the worst Someone movie could seen. write witty headlines yes. for what? a bad newspaper. <laughs> I clearly work for ESPN. Fat man, fall yeah. down, go boom. Did you write that? No, that's, <laughs> that's, that's what it should have been called. Yeah, that was the working, that was the working title. It was Untitled Kevin James Project, and then Fat Man, Fall Down, Go Boom. <laughs> and they settled on Paul Blart, Mall Cop. What's the name of his next one? Here comes the boom. Here comes the Here boom. Comes the boom. Wow, there actually is the word boom. boom. But he's, in not, his next he's movie. not as fat in that one. He is not as fat. He's really fat in this. Yes. Yeah. He definitely put on some weight for this one, for sure. Yeah. How, it, t- how tall is he? I'd say 5'11. Five, five yeah, 5'11. Five five six five foot, five. maybe. So what did, he, what did he weigh in this movie? 350. <laughs> That's a lot. I want to say 350 is high, but I, I would venture to guess it's, it's probably over three bills. I was going to say, he's probably pushing three bills, which is a lot. He's really. He's all over the place. He's very smooth. He's very chinny. Yeah. <laughs> he is he's chinny. got multiple chins. Yeah. Just like... I'm not going to make that joke. No, nope, no, nope, not making no. that joke. Were you going Chinese phone book? Oh, terrible. You're the worst. <laughs> <laughs> were, you, were you going something else? I was going with that. <laughs> yeah. You finished it for me, so now you're the asshole. How dare you. So, Before Drew and I took some notes, so we're we'll kind of plow through this just while... Well, so, sh- while okay. other things come up, which I'm sure they will. But basically, we was... Yeah, well, I think we we'll start with the fact that he is a a mall cop of plus size, and he is trying to become a New Jersey state police officer. Yeah, hopes Qu- and dreams. Question and number dreams. one: How come nobody in this movie had a New Jersey accent? Question number two is: Why was the mall they were at in Boston? That's another great question, actually. <laughs> As Chewie pointed out by the, what was it? Legit? Le- there's, a, there's a legal seafood legal mall, seafood. which is a very much a Boston chain. However, they kept referring themselves as being from New Jersey. Yeah, so didn't really get that. Don't know if anyone else did. About, I'm going to say, eight to ten seconds into the movie, I wrote down, how much of this won't be about Kevin James being fat? <laughs> <laughs> and the answer? The answer, quite little. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he, uh, he he's taking the exam, and he fails, because... He was doing well. He was doing well, but he had... Actually, a very nice backflip <laughs> onto his feet. No, <laughs> sorry, yeah, then, no, a gainer. A gainer, yeah, a gainer that's yes. Right. And he falls down just inches short of the finish line. Falls button, down asleep. And falls asleep. <laughs> because he's hypoglycemic. Because, as... <laughs> Dr. Kelly, what does hypoglycemic mean? Don't ask me. <laughs> <laughs> he, has, he has low blood, blood sugar, sugar, which is great for a huge guy, because it means he needs to yeah, constantly eat sugar. sugar. <laughs> like Popeye eats spinach to keep him going. <laughs> I also, I made a prediction... Uh, yeah, in the first minute of the movie, 
I wrote, this is going to be like a horrible, unredeeming Observe and Report, and Observe and Report wasn't that great to me. <laughs> 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 and, uh, yeah, I, got, I think I got that pretty close. Yeah. I guess he's more likable than Seth Rogen in Observe and Report, because Seth Rogen is a fucking asshole <laughs> yeah, he in Observe Report. Is. But, but he's it, did, an asshole. it led to some awesome scenes he's as the, a result. He's the jolly giant in this movie. Observe and Report had one good scene, and that was the payoff. The end? <laughs> yeah. The payoff. Yeah. Pretty great payoff. That was good. Also, the... <laughs> Heated argument with Aziz. Yeah. Yes. Fuck you, Justin. <laughs> Fuck you, Stan. <laughs> yeah, that was good, actually. That was it, though. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so I figured that uh, him being morbidly obese would be his gimmick for the movie, but he needed a second Thank gimmick you. because America gets bored. So we had to slap <laughs> this fat asshole on a segue as well. Because that's a funny thing in 2009, right? Who's with me? Who's against me? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Segways were, you know, the hotness. Remember, guys, they were the invention that changed the world. That's right. Lest we forget. <laughs> really? Mm-hmm. Changed the world in the sense that you have to lean forward to go forward. Right. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's, look look ahead to the future. So lean ahead to the future, I guess. <laughs> yes, um? Okay. Well, you get random mom guest appearance here. <laughs> I'm actually going to edit that. <laughs> <laughs> well, she just didn't want the cat going out. <laughs> and a hand for mom, folks. <laughs> yeah, you monster. People are curious about my home life. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. Other than the DVDs. Yes, DVDs and hot poops. <laughs> Coming from Kelly. What? Destroying my toilet. <laughs> that was one time. Uh, oh, there was not that. according to my father, who thinks Kelly punishes our toilet every time he's over. <laughs> there Kelly was... comes to my house to take shit. <laughs> hey, if the time is right, I'll go. And plus, there was that one time when your dad had his broken leg, and you had a busted leg, and I wanted to come in there and be like, oh, we're going to use your toilet, what are you going to do what about it? What are you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> like, bring it on, old man. Slap your dad in the face and <laughs> poop in his toilet. <laughs> The, all, the ultimate slap in the face, <laughs> pooping in the near toilet and smacking in the face, literally. <laughs> the ultimate slap in the face, a slap in the face. <laughs> People underestimate that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so uh, so we cut we cut to yeah uh, to Bart in the mall doing his thing. You missed the the, what? the family scene after he failed. All right, oh, yes. go, go ahead with the family. I didn't take any notes of the family oh, scene. Oh, uh, the only, only thing I, I got I got mad like three minutes into the movie. The only family scene I took was, he, you know, he's a fat guy who obviously eats his feelings, so his mom asks him after dinner if he wants pie. No, mid-dinner. Mid-dinner, if yeah. he's going to want pie, and he says, no, I don't think I want any pie, and then... Go, immediately goes, no, of course I'm going to want pie because I'm a fat man. <laughs> so he gets a piece of pie immediately without finishing his dinner. Yeah. And then, and then, I, and then I just I just wrote down peanut butter pie because, you know, you, sometimes you have pie. You, you, can have a, you can have an a la mode, you can have an a la New York, you can have an a la peanut butter. <laughs> he literally, you, know, you know how you butter a piece of bread? <laughs> he, he peanut, peanut buttered a piece of pie. <laughs> he literally just took a jar of peanut butter and just smeared it all over the pie. Which, honestly, is actually healthier for you than <laughs> having ice said. cream. It's not ice. that fat yeah. thing to do. It's Protein better protein. It's better than ice cream. If you have natural peanut butter, that's really good for you, yeah. actually. It's actually not a bad idea. Granted, it probably wasn't very natural for you. No, it was creamy. And Skippy. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Honey-flavored. Skippy or fatty McFatty Bajoo. <laughs> <laughs> Phineas Q Butterfats. <laughs> <laughs> Extra non-peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> All whale <available>. blubber. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's. I think that's all. Oh no, and then the, the the before he goes to the mall scene, he, we decided oh. that he has two separate segues. Yes. He's got one that is his civilian segue for getting around and yeah. shooting videos of him doing tricks, <laughs> like it's a fucking bike and he's twelve. Yeah. And then he's got and his, his work segue, his force, his uh, security force segue yeah. that he uses to uh, get to and from hey, work. Do you think cops just drive their police cars on their off duty? No, it's the so, same. So thing. why should he have to drive his force segue? But he does exactly. drive it home because he has it at home. You make a good point, <laughs> and I rescind my previous so, statement. Like, he, he literally just lives on a segue all yes. the time, but he keeps that one in the garage. 
He does, but he still drives it from work to home. Yeah. And <laughs> he doesn't want to put mileage on his, on his home segue. That's way. true. That's and true. He's going to kill the reason. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then the only other thing I wrote for that was, as he's going to work, there is a, do- a little dog, like, nipping at his <laughs> ankles, chasing him down the street, and the dog runs in front of the Segway. He runs it over and doesn't even stop to check if it's okay. He shows yeah. no remorse for running over the dog and just proceeds on his way to yeah, work. Like, then it, they never showed it, but, like, I, I think he murdered the dog. <laughs> yeah, there's a good chance that that dog was dead. Yeah. He killed some old lady's dog and didn't care. Yeah, so good good start. <laughs> so we get to the mall, and, yeah, he's doing his thing, and a, a little, a very quickly into the scene, I wrote down... Saw a decent looking girl. Fuck her! <laughs> it, it looked like that's where it was going to go, but in fact, it was the second decent looking girl he saw that he was going to try to fuck. But who, yes, the second girl who was played by Gemma Mays, who I uh, referred to as the poor man's Anna Ferris, which isn't saying much because Anna Ferris is the poor man's dirty whore. Christina Ricci. <laughs> I mean, Ricci I, I, yeah, said. postulated Christina Ricci. And, like, I wrote down poor man's Anna Ferris as well, but, like, <laughs> It's not entirely accurate, because it's not really poor man's Anna Ferris. It's just exactly the same. It just as is Anna, Anna Ferris. Ferris. <laughs> it's another Anna Ferris. Like, it's like, you know, it's scary movie versus epic movie. It's, <laughs> it's not any different. <laughs> so. What are you doing? Sorry, man. There's a, there's a ruckus. Stay harder. <laughs> So, yeah, so what, what's her name? Gem- Gemma Mays. Gemma Mays, yeah. So, and she was wearing a dumb wig, and then, oh, yeah, yeah. What's the name of the store? store? What is the name oh, of the yes, store? Oh, yes, the name of the uh, kiosk that she works at, Justin Chu. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. So, <laughs> great stuff. That was one of the Groot. couple action. G-R-O-O-T. Groot. <laughs> That was one of the couple actual laughs in the movie, because Unbelievable is pretty funny. <laughs> it is pretty good. And there is... <laughs> but yeah, so she works at a, a wig place, and, and like when we first meet her, she's clearly wearing a wig, and then later we see her... This like long blonde wig, and then later we see her with like short dark hair. And then... Justin jokingly says, oh, "I wonder if she's gonna take off that wig, and it's gonna be like a, a you know a series of like Russian dolls with wigs." And then immediately they did that joke, and, then, and I wrote down, "Chewy just called stupid wig joke." <laughs> so, so I'm gonna be proud of myself. Yeah, I'm very sad at Congra- <laughs> congratulations slash I'm disappointed in you. <laughs> oh, some of my parents. <laughs> After he like is infatuated with her, where he runs to the security room to, to zoom in on right. her and presumably rub one out. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't becoming ultimate mall cop perv. That wasn't terrible at all. And it wasn't long after that we met our first asshole Adam Sandler friend. Family oh, friend. did we mention this was a Happy Madison production? We should have, or you should have guessed, because it's a bad movie, and all bad movies are Happy Madison <laughs> productions. <laughs> yes. Very much. Let ironic as they put together his two most popular movies. <laughs> yes. I know, yeah, yeah. Let it be known that this makes me really sad because I used to and would still like to like Adam Sandler. Like the it, like was that the two movies that make up Happy Madison both great. Yeah. Well, what happened? <laughs> He's the ball's juice. Like Adam, Sa- yeah. two. Adam Sandler became that that comedian that he mocks in Funny People. Like, yeah. He just decided, like, oh, well, I've mocked it. I might as well just do it. Might as well do this. So now he just made, well, I guess this was... Shit forever. Yeah, but it's just horrible movies. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so, yeah, it was, like, it was 1996, Adam Sandler's Chappelle Show season two, yep. where he just used his last good idea, and it's just nothing from there on. The only difference is Dave Chappelle stopped doing stuff. That's true. And Adam Sandler made a hundred movies. <laughs> 
Yeah, he, you know what? Like earlier in his career, definitely the ratio of good to bad was high. Yeah. Now the ratio. If you of... don't count going overboard, holy shit! Never see that movie. One of his first ever. It's like 1992 or something, and it's unacceptable. <laughs> this will be further watched if we can get a hold of it. Oh boy, I don't even know if it came out on DVD. <laughs> well, we'll find it. Don't worry, we'll find it. Yeah. Never heard of it. Yeah, it's uh, it. it's a mess. Well, I remember renting it just because I saw Adam Sandler on the on the cover, and uh, yeah, that was. And you assumed that it would be good. Yeah. Oh, oh boy. Anyway. Well, yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, and uh, I, I don't think I brought this up when we were watching, but how much older is Kevin James than this girl? Like, oh, a, like a lot, right? Well, he's no. Like, you know what? She she's her old. dad. <laughs> she's older than she looks. She definitely looks like she's young, but. Uh, that being I, said, is he? I checked when we were older, watching it, the same it, as, or much older. Than I, think it's, I think it's only slightly. Her grandfather. I think it's slightly old, older, but he doesn't. He doesn't look that old, unless you count fatness as being old, because then he would be ninety. <laughs> but no, I think his body fat. I, I think I, I checked. I think, she, I think she's an eighty-one. Well, he's not in. So he, yeah, but he's probably like a sixty-nine, <laughs> seventy. So ten yeah. years, yeah, still could be her dad. I guess it's about ten years. <laughs> he still could be her dad. You are disgusting. Your, 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 your math and your knowledge of, you know, sexual exploits is not very good. The South. <laughs> He's not probably not from the South. He's from Chicago. At Dirty in Chicago, you met them. I have met Dirty Chicago people. <laughs> oh yeah, his friend. I don't want. I don't want an know. asshole friend. Uh, uh, Oh, Vince Vaughn. Vince Vaughn. Yeah, they're Blackhawks fans. Yeah. Well, yeah. Um, the, the next thing I have written down, though, is when he gets in the... He gets in a fight with a fat lady in a lingerie store. Yeah, because fat. Because he calls, her, he, he calls her fat and understands indirectly. why she's... Indirectly. why she's mad. And she gets mad at him for calling him fat. And I'm under the impression that it was okay for fat people to call other fat people fat. It's like Scott said. It's like the N word among N words. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, it's getting risky in there. But I mean, yeah, I they know go. How to say it, right? Hey, what's <laughs> up, Mark? Why are you so concerned with that? You've said it like a million times in the last couple of podcasts. Okay, We've had hey, some complaints. I don't. I don't want to bring this up. We've had some but... complaints. Some were from Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, damn. <laughs> anyway, I, I don't I, I just, I'm going to bring dreams it. dreams of <laughs> a, a quick brief comment here. When I was in Seattle uh, this week, past weekend, and uh, we were we were walking to a baseball game, and we were there were so many Africans, and all I kept thinking in my head was, hmm, if only these people knew how many times I said the N-word in my life, I would not be alive right now. <laughs> so well, not, you would not. not a lot of podcast listeners in... In Seattle. <laughs> Not a lot of... We don't... Let's face it. We're a very... Uh, what do you want to call it? Niche? P- pasty group. Uh, minus <laughs> the one big Asian we have. So I'm not too worried about it. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, it's like... Yeah, so I, I always assumed that it was okay for fatties to call fatties fat. Like, what's up there, Pop Belly? <laughs> like, no, no. So um, I guess I'm misunderstood here. Yeah. I like that she took off her earrings... To beat the shit out of him. <laughs> yeah. Like, I can see if you're, like, you're gonna get into, like, a competitive fight, taking up your earrings, but, like, it was one-way offense the whole time. <laughs> maybe, you know, that's it, like, yeah, maybe, completely useless. Yeah, yeah. Maybe she thought he was but gonna she, fight dirty. She knew she was gonna sucker punch him, and yeah. <laughs> and they did fight like fat people, winning against each other, kind of circling a little bit. <laughs> and if either had moved, they'd have both fallen oh, down. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. So yeah, oh yeah. All I uh, all I wrote regarding the fight was uh, looking forward to Paul Blart MMA fighter, <laughs> which is Kevin James's next movie for real. <laughs> and which we're seeing. It's very upsetting. We we're, are seeing it. <laughs> Screw you guys. Boy, I got dragged to Bucky Larson. You're going to that. I agree. Bucky Larson was amazing. <laughs> Ahead of its time. Yes. It's, it's going to be one of those movies. Oh, man, we got to talk about Strange Wilderness yes, one day. Yes, we do. And what do you know? A Happy Madison production, just like Bucky Larson <laughs> and just like this. Noticing a trend. <laughs> Bucky Larson is going to be, in a few years, it's going to be the cable guy of past years, where <laughs> yeah. people hated it, didn't understand it, and then realized, like, wow, this, oh, is, this, this is, is a really, really good, good dark comedy. Dark <laughs> <laughs> so people are going to go to Bucky Larson. No one is going to. No this is, is a really intelligent, that. intellectual comedy. Some future pictures are going to be all over it. Then. Yeah. In ten years, people will be putting Bucky Larson in the same category as Barton Fink. <laughs> Just like I, classic dark comedy. I weep. Like a man. <laughs> Did you say Hermanity? 
I heard you feminist. Feminist. <laughs> do, you spell, well, do you spell women with a Y? <laughs> hey. Mother Nature's been good to me. <laughs> we are all her children. <laughs> so, th- I, I was half paying attention at best, but Paul Blart got drunk for some reason. Yeah, because they all, they all went for a, a team drinking fest. With no, because he, he went to the bar to hang out with his people from the mall. It was not a big deal. He went to hang out with a girl. He went to hang out with a girl who was hanging out with other people from the mall. Yeah. He got somehow got involved in, in a competition a, eating a nacho. A nacho eating competition, which with, uh, against who I think was Hercules, Hercules from yeah, the 90 Yeah, yeah, you wouldn't let me look it up on my phone, but I'm, we'll, we'll check that later. Now, was it a, was it a bar inside the mall? Yes. So, yes. Yeah, I think it was sort of like mall one of those, bar. uh, you know, like... Small bar. TJ Friday's type deal, or Chili's or something. Yeah. All right. But anyway, so, as, as he was forcing these nachos down, his massive gullet <laughs> got thirsty. <laughs> he just his thirst. So he started pounding what lemonade. looks like lemonade from the next table what because he's a lemonade? monster and was drinking other people's beverages. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, unknown to him at the time, it was a massive jug of margaritas and he had never been drunk in his life. Now, Be- on, okay, before, so, no, go ahead, go on ahead. the subject of <laughs> being monsters and drinking other people's beverages as well as eating other people's food, I... And Spigal 201 are guilty of that crime <laughs> at BYW at the Applebee's we went to. <laughs> we definitely went around. Were you just sam- sampling? <laughs> yes. <laughs> but everybody was up and they were all like, I think, because we went all went outside for pictures and stuff like that. And I think as everyone was leaving, we picked just went, went, just took a, a laugh around the table. <laughs> this drinking looks and good. Drinking. This looks good. Now, I'm going to say this is one legitimate advantage to being fat. Because I think if you're a normal sized person, and you go drink someone's drink or eat off their plate, they're going to slap your yeah. hand away and call you an asshole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you're you can get away with it if, if you're fat. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's, ah, fat. he's just being fat. He can't help himself. He's so hungry. It's cool. He's a monster. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. I'm do it. <laughs> it's all that makes him happy. <laughs> so, yeah, didn't notice the what he thought was lemonade were margaritas. Can we agree that there are no lemons in margaritas? <laughs> that there are limes? Yes, but if he'd never had booze before, Although he he wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Has he just destroyed his taste buds so much with all of his abuse of eating? Not so that just yeah, like, yeah, hey, all his citrus, and... citrus is citrus, or just even more, even broader than that, just like liquid is liquid mm-hmm. and solid is solid, yeah, and yeah, it's yeah. all just kind of a chalky taste that he just needs to get in him yeah, before, I agree. Before, I agree. Before, before the feelings come back. Three words. Peanut butter pie. <laughs> Peanut butter pie. <laughs> that yeah. is why. But, yeah, maybe maybe there isn't even taste anymore. Maybe it's just a series of textures. Now. <laughs> what did what did we what did we write? What are you showing me? I can't. Oh yeah, the screenwriters who didn't understand what the difference was. Yeah, I wrote. Um, oh, I didn't realize you wrote it down too. I just, no, I, I didn't write that. Oh. But I wrote. Uh, yeah, so they did a thing, and these, they're not the only ones guilty of it. Um, and they actually they do it more with marijuana than. Alcohol, but they did it with alcohol here, where he's like just beyond the fucked up and like hallucinating. So and like just things like things that don't happen, like when, but, like feeling people's faces and like getting all like like tripped out on like oh your your ears, and like your seeing, mouth. Yeah, he's like seeing like seeing tracers and like just stuff that <laughs> never happens on alcohol or like I said with with pot that uh, the other movies and TV shows do too. So yeah, I, I wrote was there LSD in that beer <laughs> in, in my notes here and uh, I, yeah, I wrote just like the screenwriters had absolutely no concept of the difference between being drunk and being on like acid he- or heavy like, drugs. Yeah, like heavy <laughs> drugs. Like there was no like. They couldn't understand that when you're drunk, you're not, like, a complete, like, tripped out, freaked out. Especially the first time you're drunk. (laughs) Like, the first time you're drunk, you generally get sick and don't feel very good. You're not, like, wildly dancing around. And he he tries to do the worm, then he tries to do a tip-up and fails miserably. Like, he just, there's no uh, context for those people. In ten years. I mean, you know what? He did write the movie, so... Co-wrote. Co-wrote the movie, so... In, In ten years... I want to see Shawn Michaels come back with, like, that weight. <laughs> I had to do a kip up in a match, and that happened. <laughs> and, that, and that fall. So speaking of and falls... And his hairline all the way back to the top of his ear. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so speaking of falls, if, uh, if you're one of those jerks who saw the trailer for Paul Blart, and, and you're like, oh, this movie looks stupid. I bet he falls down, like, 20 times in this movie. Well, you're just being a jerk. 
because he falls down 19 times in this movie. We count. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, 19, so, and how long was the movie? Hour 27. So, yeah, your your falls per minute is looking pretty good. <laughs> yeah, for yeah, sure. Like, you're not going to go more than five minutes without a fall yeah. in this movie. And, and <laughs> there, was, there was also, like, there was some tackles. There was some, like, rolls. Grabs. There were some grabs. There were things that almost constituted a fall. Yeah, we only counted unintentional falls when he's by himself. We didn't count him trying to be fat, stealthy, and go into the ground, and we didn't count him being taken down by outside parties. Yeah. So this is 15, like, straight up, like, like three stooges, like, slip and falls. Like, classic, classic comedy, folks. Ca- classic physical comedy. Just, like, terrible physical comedy. This whole yeah. movie had just terrible slapstick that wasn't even good slapstick. I think they took, like, the dumbest hammiest version, like, episode of The King of Queens and made it a movie. Yes. <laughs> and just yes. gave him a different job. And put a lot of the characters that were in. Yeah, there were uh, some of them. I don't I don't know the TV show well, but... I don't know it very well. I think I've seen I maybe, well like, enough. one episode. <laughs> yeah. Actually, you know, the only episode I've seen is the one that Patton talks about where he's just standing in the background oh, completely yeah. not moving. <laughs> because, like, I, I saw the clip on YouTube where he just... <laughs> in one straight face, no movement for like the entire scene. <laughs> just standing in the background. It's so good. I love, I love fucking around on camera and getting away with it. <laughs> we, <coughs> oh yeah, I mean, no, the the one time he didn't fall and oh. should have. Oh. He's oh, yeah. kind of got like an Olympic video game where and he's doing the hurdles. And he didn't fall. Yeah, and, like, and he's the, on like a treadmill. The, yeah, it's like a stand-up arcade game with like a treadmill, and he's doing <laughs> dumb fat guy jumps over the hurdles. And actually, that, that was one thing I loved. Every time he hit a hurdle, which is every time he came up to a hurdle, this voice on the screen would say, foul. And the voice, I can only assume, was recorded by a woman climaxing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> foul. 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 <laughs> foul. <laughs> like, oh my god. I got to... Hard as a rock, watching <laughs> watching him not fall. Was that, was that the point when you took your pants off? That was around the point. I did have to take my pants off this move, but only because it was too hot. It was too hot. Her voice is too hot. Yes. So, <laughs> it's like that in the real Olympics. <laughs> yeah. A lot of tripping over a lot of boners. <laughs> so, after about, I don't know, 30, 40 minutes of falling down and nothing really happening, we had some plot interjected yeah, into things. Poor plot. Where his, uh, the trainee security guard at the mall turned into a bad guy. Heel turn! For, uh, for no, no real, uh, reasons. You wanted for to the, go yeah, for, the, for the sake that you needed to make some stories For the sake happen. that we needed the bad guy. In the yeah. movie. So, he's a bad guy, and he, and all of his asshole friends from the X Games, apparently, <laughs> decided to take over the mall at night and rob it. Like, the his criminal friends are, like had skateboarders and tiny bicycles and some were just parkour people. Parkour fags. So yeah, th- uh, all I have written down is what's this X game shit? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. How does that translate to good crime? It's to keep people from realizing that his his. Um, Abilities to fight off bad guys is limited to 16-year-olds who can skateboard. Yeah, basically. And and we think, or some someone pointed out that a couple of the criminal henchmen types are actual, yeah, like, X Games guys. for sure. A few of them definitely were. Which became all the more clear when they actually had to deliver lines, and I had to stab myself in the neck <laughs> to continue going. That Bob Burnquist is not an actor. I don't think it's Bob Burnquist. He's the only one I can think of, okay? <laughs> Either him or Bam Margera, and I know it wasn't Bam. I, I don't think it was either. But, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, so, you know, so they take, you know, fuck the plot. We don't, we're not here to give a plot summary of Polvar. We're just here to talk about the ridiculous things in it. So, yeah, so he's fighting, you know, some stuff happens, and he's fighting some of the bad guys, and... One is in like a uh, a tanning salon in the mall, and he like he tackles the guy into the tanning bed, 
and slams the the top of it shut repeatedly, which completely incapacitates the guy, which we all kind of had a problem with, because, like, isn't a tanning bed meant to fit a person in it? And if you close the top even hard, the person in it is fine? Yeah. Because yeah. there's, there's room? Yeah, they designed it so there's room, so you're not, like, right up against the light. It's not like a sandwich grill. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, 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 it's not a panini press. Yeah. <laughs> It's you don't need the surfaces to cause a tan. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, I'm so sorry. The lights don't directly touch you. <laughs> I'm not much of a tanner, but I didn't. Uh, they're not. They're not, not say. They're not yeah, pressed firmly against your skin, so you get those nice tan lines. He gave them those griddle marks. And yeah, that's the new hot look, right? And, griddle marks. And every criminal that was like incapacitated, I don't. And later on in the movie, showed up again. No, yeah, no explanation. Yeah, just just out. Yeah. But the, the guy in the tiny bed, I like what he did because he like he tied the bed shut with uh, a bra. No, it was a bikini top. A ba- uh, yeah, bikini top. Bikini top. And uh, and turned it on and. Well, <laughs> that's, that's a death of final destination, isn't it? Yeah, that is. Uh, yeah, so yeah, I guess he murdered that guy. <laughs> well, that's what we thought until, until the guy yeah, ran. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah I, gave him skin cancer. Yeah, I wrote murder by melanoma. Yeah, <laughs> but don't forget like, it's you're, a, you're forgetting about the cute part. The cute part? Oh, what did he... Yeah, wait, oh, yeah. Part. I Old ignored that. a heart of gold. <laughs> yeah, because, yeah, he put tanning goggles on the guy he murdered. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he didn't want his eyes to get melanoma. He didn't want to hurt his eyes, so... Uh, a good man. <laughs> Optic cancer. It's out. It's not the... It's not oh, the... It's never happened. Eyelids. <laughs> yeah. And then, later, he... Actually, there was one legitimate... Like, for all the fighting and business in it, it was all stupid, except one legitimately badass scene where he was uh, in a in a champ's sporting goods, uh, <laughs> where he was dressed up in full-on uh, New Jersey Devils Martin Brodeur uh, goalie gear, and snuck up on a guy, and did this insane <laughs> sweep of his legs was, with the goalies. It was 300 style. That's yeah. how good it was. Yeah, it, yeah, it was like, yeah, the like style. Like an epic leg sweep with the goalie stick, and yeah, as he did it, an epic clubbing club him right down to the floor. Like, it, n- nothing would have hurt more than that. No, <laughs> no. That, that was actually amazing. Paul Bart was kind of like Kratos at that moment. Yeah. yeah. That, that was, yeah, that was one really, that and unbelievable <laughs> are your two. The, yeah. The fact that Chewie points factors. out, too, that as he snuck into that champs to wait for the bad guy, he had enough time to put on full goaltending. Yeah, we're not just talking not about, just like, pads and a, helmet. a jersey over what he was wearing. Yeah. <laughs> he put on shoulder pads, pants, glove and blocker, leg pads. Everything. A helmet helmet. <laughs> and a balaclava underneath that helmet. Yeah. Yes. So you can only see his eyes. Yeah, it looks yes. realistic. The proper look. <laughs> he wanted to, tr- to channel Mark Hamburger. Yeah. Mark Hamburger with a balaclava under his mask? Yeah, of course. Okay. okay. All right. And what, what I liked slash hated about that which came later was, so he, he attacked that guy with the Broder gear, but that guy is the only... St- the only guy who saw him mm-hmm. in yeah. the Broder yeah. here. Only witness so, head bad guy, him. the guy, the ex-trainee, uh, came after him. Uh, and the trainee? Or, or the, the brainy! Because the guy was smart. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. Uh, so, yeah, so the head guy came after Paul Blart, and Paul Blart... As a decoy, sent just like a mannequin in the Brodeur gear on the Segway at him and got him to shoot at the decoy. But the the bad guy shouldn't have thought for a minute that that was Paul Blart because he never saw him in that outfit. He should have just expected the guy in security gear. He should have put a mannequin in security gear. He did the wrong decoy for the situation. I think it's because of the Segway. If, so okay, if that's the case, why not put a mannequin with no clothes on the same yeah. If all he's going for is just a an a, a physical decoy, as opposed to putting more thought into it. I guess maybe because he, I, I I don't care. It's not enough to argue about yeah. it. Um, the one thing we did skip over was that I wrote down was the. Uh, the Segway versus skateboarder chase scene. Oh, yeah. That was pretty goddamn ridiculous. <sighs> yeah, all chase scenes were on bicycles. The segways, skateboards, or uh, or crouching tiger, hidden hidden dragon, like wire yeah. jumping. Yeah, it was pretty. It was pretty slow. And another thing I wrote down too is how all of the henchmen for the bad guy all had cute reindeer names. Yes, yep. their code names were all the reindeers of Santa. What? What did? What did, what did the brainy get? 
not get a reindeer. Why wasn't he Santa? Santa? Why, it was Santa? I think he was Santa. I don't I think, think they ever called him Santa. But I think they? he was Santa by default. <laughs> I think you're giving too much credit. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I didn't hear it. So yeah. So I don't know. I, I don't know if I can give him the uh, the nod on that one. Marks. And then so while, while this is going on inside, the police are outside, and then the SWAT team the, also come in. But the police are only outside. At one entry point. That's, well, that's uh, the next thing I was going to say. Ah, the police yeah. seem to be guarding one of the 27 exits to the mall. So, a number they explicitly, which explicitly they stated. stated. They knew. They're not like, well, here's a door. I guess this is it. Yeah. <laughs> no, they knew. They had, like, a blueprint. And they're like, well, they're going to come out of this door. We don't need to bother with the other 26. <laughs> so, which allowed them to, of course, like, escape the mall and then have a car chase after that. And all that bullshit, and then uh, then we got to have an inexplicable second guy turn bad. The one, the a SWAT team guy that went to high school oh, yeah. with Paul Blart, and apparently in the, in high school set him on fire. <laughs> they tried to attempted murder Paul Blart so in high school. He went to the charge with attempted murder and still ended up in the force. Yes. yes. Yeah. They don't check much in New Jersey. Come <laughs> Jersey, on. Yeah. New Jersey or Boston Boston's. or wherever. <laughs> where they don't have either of those accents. <laughs> where everyone has a Los Angeles accent yeah, yeah. in the Northeast. <laughs> yep. Much like how colleges and universities don't screen for <laughs> people who become evil supervillain doctors. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So, yeah, so we have the SWAT guy turn bad guy. He'll in, turn number two. Yeah, in the last, I don't know, four minutes of the movie for no reason, just yeah. so just so Paul Blart could fall on someone else, I guess. <laughs> just as a, as a fun bonus at the end. Um, I only have one thing for the very end, no was so if there's anything well, else I, you got. The only other one I missed was uh, when he was fighting those two guys and he drove the Segway into the elevator. Oh, my oh God. My God. <laughs> and how the easily, elevator. And how easily the glass on the elevator, it just shattered like it was made of like that sugar glass they make those fake bottles out yeah, of. Because it was. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it like... Well, yeah, it was in, like, <laughs> movie. in the making of the movie, but in the reality of the movie itself... It, uh, yeah, that shouldn't uh, happen. No, That's the a, guy literally just, he, what did he do? He went, <coughs> rode his skateboard up a ramp and jumped off through it? Yeah. And he literally just went, like, right through like, it. Like, no, no resistance. I feel like this Single is... Single pain, <laughs> non-tempered <laughs> thoughts. I feel this is a pointless discussion, as almost everything in that movie should not have happened. <laughs> so you might as well... Kelly, we're living in the world where this really happened. <laughs> Paul Blart is a real mall cop somewhere. In the town of Boston, New Jersey. Yeah, Boston. New Jersey, California. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the only other thing I, I wrote down was when we were talking about how his daughter, right. who is looks, <laughs> she looks too Hispanic to be his daughter. Like she doesn't look like she's mixed now, at all. They did establish that her mother was Mexican. Was she, Mexican yeah. she was a big fat Mexican lady who married Paul Blart for the green card, had the kid, and ran away. Yeah. This was established, so... Well, yeah, that, that, that brings me to two points, but the first one was, yeah, that she looks nothing like him, she's not mixed at all. She just looks straight up Hispanic. She looks full Hispanic. To which point Scott says, yeah, she got she's half Hispanic and half fat. So she's <laughs> three quarters fat. Oh, no, and then you said, but her mom's fat, too. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. And I said, okay, fine, she's three quarters fat and half Hispanic. <laughs> <laughs> How I arrived at those numbers, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the, last, the last part I wrote down was when they're like after the end when they're when they're like, everything is sort of coming together and they're sitting on the uh, the ambulance after I guess I guess you should have said that like as he's leaving the um, the, uh, the first heel turn has kidnapped his uh, the girl he wants to be his girlfriend and his daughter. And so after they everything gets fixed everybody gets rescued, uh, he's singing with his daughter and she makes a joke about a green card and how Gemma May's character is not, oh, well, she doesn't need a green card. She's not just going to leave. We're like, you're talking about your mom, yeah, kid. Are you, I'm are you mad about that? That kid should have some deep scars about her mother, like, getting married, yeah, having her, issues. getting her green card, and fucking off. Yeah. Like, she wouldn't just be making jokes about, like, oh, oh mom doesn't love me. She just wanted to get into the country. <laughs> That's like, what happened. She did. She did comment that she hated her mom at the beginning. Yeah, but she wouldn't be making jokes about it. She was pretty... She's like 13. She, she was thinking about her dad. Deep and lighthearted scars. about it. <laughs> deep yeah. emotional scars. I'm, I'm convinced that, that she would not just be joking around about it. That was uh, that was one... I don't know. There, yeah, that was one thing I wrote for during that exact scene that doesn't reflect well on me. 
So, I, I don't know if I... Well, we've come this far. So, yeah, just when, like, right before the green card joke, actually, I wrote, kiss your daughter. <laughs> 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 I don't know if I meant it in a sweet way or an awful way or... We know what way you meant. Whatever. But anyway... He doesn't know which way you meant, though. I don't know. I don't. You may know what he doesn't <laughs> know. But, and then maybe, <laughs> Shadow knows. Maybe, maybe, Shadow's nose. maybe the best thing in the movie happened in the last <laughs> minute of the movie, where he go, where he sits, so he has a little uh, back of the ambulance conversation with his daughter, and then he walks out to get the girl and <laughs> win the day, and I don't know who blocked this. Who choreographed this? Who shot this? Who cinematographies this? Who kept the X on the ground? But Kevin my, my, no, my note was, meet at weird 90 degree angle. So, here's what happened. He walked... Now, when we first when we started the walk, it looks like he's walking directly toward her. Yeah. Great. That's where you should be walking, Kevin. <laughs> but then, the next shot, he's walking towards the sunset, which we didn't really see where the sunset was, but he's walking towards the sunset... There's no girl there anymore. She comes at him 90 degrees from the side. Like, so I guess he got distracted by the big light in the sky. <laughs> and so she had to, like, do some quick... She had to do some quick... <laughs> no, she had to do... But no, she didn't call him back, over. Call him back over. She had to do some quick, math, some quick math and intercept him ah, yes. at the right <laughs> angle. Or else he would just be gone forever. <laughs> but I, it was the weirdest thing. If... Okay, don't watch this movie, or watch it. I don't know what kind of time you have in your hands. If you have a lot, maybe watch it and get some enjoyment out of an, un an unenjoyable movie. But if you don't have time, if it's on YouTube, or if... It's on Netflix, I know that. It's on Netflix. Fast forward to the last minute of the movie, like 60 seconds before the credits, and watch how this goes down, because it is fucking baffling. <laughs> Honest to God, I could not believe it. Anyway, <laughs> any, uh, go ahead, you guys go ahead with a couple final thoughts while I dig up a second opinion. I, you know, for, for many years, people have been making fat guy comedies. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's certainly not a new thing. <laughs> no, it's, 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 it's even been uh, Leonard Moulton category reviews. Fat Tattooey. Oh, yeah, Fat Tattooey, yeah. <laughs> Uh, fat I, did, guy I, I did not pick a Kevin James movie because the category is fat comedians, comedians yes. not fat guys who fall down a lot. Yes. He was a comedian at one point. I don't care. I don't think he's that funny. No, I don't think I've seen a movie that he's been in. It doesn't matter if he's not funny. Uh, he's still I, I refrain my statement. He is kind of funny in Hitch, but not to the point where it's a Kevin James movie. It's a Will Smith movie that Kevin James has a small role in. But another, another thing that I find ridiculous is that I think, like, most movies I see Kevin James in, like, attractive girls are always attracted to him. Yes. Like, I know perhaps you, Chuck and Larry has uh, Jessica Biel, and then uh, Hitch has, whatever that girl's name is, uh, Rada Mitchell, I think her name is. Something like that. And, like, King of Queens has Stacey Carosi from Saved by Yeah, Hell. like, I don't understand why these, like, skinny, healthy, attractive women <laughs> are attracted to a... You weren't healthy. <laughs> <laughs> you shit. That's the irony. He's so fat. <laughs> He's so fat. That's the irony. Nobody. I'm like, I'm not even talking. I'm a fat guy. I'm with a hot... Well, this doesn't make sense. What's happening? <laughs> What is he... I don't, okay, I don't know how Don Knotts got involved in this discussion. <laughs> but what does he know that I don't? Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, how is he fooling these beautiful women while he's, like, eating pie with peanut, peanut butter, butter on it? Yeah. Or he was... He shotgunned a pixie stick. Yes, several. Several. But again, that's like Popeye's spinach. He, like, uh, he does that for strength. He, so he ate a dirty lollipop. He ate a dirty lollipop off the ground. Yeah, I think it's the lady is wetter than that. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, that is the secret. All right, so you sort of got our opinion on it, but now it's time for a second opinion. This is a couple of five-star reviews I pulled from Amazon.com for Paul Blart, the King of Queens. <laughs> uh, so King, of, King of Queens, New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> Robbie wrote in all capitals, if you love Kevin James and King of Queens, you would love this. My review is five stars because it is good, clean family entertainment, and the kids would love it. It is funny, heartwarming, and great for the whole family. I enjoyed it very much. Five stars. Why do they always write in capital letters? 
Yeah. And they need to point that. That was yeah. You, I should have yelled that. They need to exclaim as loud as they can why this is a five star movie. Exactly. Uh, Rodolfo wrote, "He was great in King of Queens. His debut in cinema was not good. He was the second guy, like in Hitch and Chuck and Larry. But now finally has his own movie. Go see it. It's funny. Peace out. Five stars." Peace out. Peace out. Five stars. He's one of those guys <laughs> who uses peace out. Yes. Uh, uh, Lamar, Lamar Odo. Jackson. Lamar James. <laughs> no, Lamar Jackson wrote. I like Odo. <laughs> <laughs> this movie became a sleeper hit as a low-budget film turned blockbuster with $176 million worldwide. I like what? It. I Actually, like I did hear that. Yeah. I liked this movie when I first seen the TV spots for Paul Blart and Mall Cop. I've never seen it. I really, wa- it. I really wanted to see this movie, which I did. I wanted, th- I want to see this movie about two more times. <laughs> about, <laughs> about, about, just about. <laughs> between one and three more times. I like this Die Hard in a Mall idea as a family movie with Kevin James as the. <laughs> 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 he compared to Die Hard. Yes. He compared it to Die Hard in a, in a mall, mall, which I would say is one hundred percent accurate. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell you about the movie. I can't tell you about the movie. Go buy this movie on Blu-ray or DVD, and you love this blockbuster hit. And you love this blockbuster hit. Not you will love. You love it now. <laughs> Five stars. His name is Lamar. Let's not go further than that. That's so what, Lamar Odom, right? Lamar, Lamar Odom. It, so, uh, yeah, it might have been, been uh, Lamar Odom. Chloe, after all. <laughs> the worst Kardashian. I had, you know the same size as Paul Ward, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah, they're they're close. The I had I had one more, but I can't find it. So um, I, I'm pretty what, happy ending on uh, on that one. What, what, that was, a good what one. was it? What was its budget? Do we know? Did it say anywhere? I know. I did hear that it did make a lot of money, I can't which kind of boggled my but mind. But you know what? I guess maybe it was the kids, yeah. mom, parents taking their kids to it. Maybe because yeah. it does. It, it, it was like other than the, the one unsure that Tom we thought he said fuck. Yeah. But I don't think he actually. I said don't fuck. think he did actually. I think I, it just I think sounded we like fuck. it. <laughs> but like, yeah, it, it's you know, it's pretty PG, so. Yeah. So and yeah, that's 176 worldwide. And you know what? Sometimes worldwide is stupid. <laughs> There's a lot of people in other countries that are even dumber than people in this country. Hey, hey, hey! In that country. Yeah. Yeah. America. We're better than them. We're better. Than Let's them. be honest. We're better than them, and they're better than everyone else. We also know how to pronounce our country's name properly. Not America. We live here in America. In America. America. Well, America, I think, America, I, America. <laughs> I think we need to start dropping the first letter on ours. We got to go apostrophe Canada. Canada, <laughs> Canada, 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 Canada. Just doesn't work the same <laughs> at all. <laughs> oh, they call it Canada. Canada. No, I think he means the village over there. No, no, no. This is the country's name. Well, I'm pretty sure it's shut up, Bill. <laughs> Bill, fuck off. Just a country built on not listening to Indians. <laughs> That's what it's all about. Well, that's how hey, most countries I think of. I would just like to point out that at least you two don't live in a city that's name means smelly fish. Mm. That's what Coquitlam means. That's what Coquitlam means? They did not know that. Pork Coquitlam means... Pork smelly fish. That makes more sense. Pork smelly fish. <laughs> <laughs> I think Stupid natives your, not understanding your Facebook about infos to me from Smelly Fish BC. <laughs> All right, I'll do it. Smelly Fish. Smelly Fish. <laughs> <laughs> there are. You know what? Gordon Lightfoot needs to write a song about Smelly Fish. <laughs> Maybe it's Stinky Fish. I can't remember. Some sort of odor. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a bad fish thing. Aquatic odor animal. I say before we lose all of our listeners to Gordon Lightfoot talk. <laughs> <laughs> well, we just gained Dan's listening back. Hey, we got him back. <laughs> Hi, Dan. Welcome back. <laughs> Dan, has, Dan has Google alerts for yeah, Gordon Lightfoot. Whenever Lightfoot. anybody mentions Gordon Lightfoot, it pops up on yeah. the screen. That's a good alert. That is a good alert. I'd take yeah. that alert. <laughs> so, before we get too down the Lightfoot hole... <laughs> I want to I wanna know how many people listening have, n- have just Googled Gordon Lightfoot. <laughs> who the fuck is Gordon Lightfoot? All these people who are... Like, I'm assuming that Alex is probably right this second Googling <laughs> Gordon Lightfoot and going like, oh yeah, only those guys would understand who Gordon Lightfoot is. You guys is. don't know your 70s Canadian folk yeah. stars? Come on. People. I learned all of my Canadian history <laughs> from listening to Gordon Lightfoot. Yes. Wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. <laughs> yes. Although Don Quixote, not exactly Canadian That's history. A good song, but that is a good song. Yeah. <laughs> Ghost of Cape Horn? 
Okay, no, uh, let's, I don't want to <laughs> Gordon Lightfoot songs. Again, and you can Black read them online. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's its own podcast. Stay tuned for the Gordon Lightfoot hour. We're going to die. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, before, man. before we get too deep into that, I <laughs> think <laughs> it's time to play the game. Is that Gordon Lightfoot song? Or is that some sort of Gordon Lightfoot song? Oh, yeah. The Gordon Lightfoot cover. Okay. <laughs> Both Canadian. Hey, Gordon, Gordon Lightfoot is the Canadian version of Johnny Cash. He's so hip, he covers oh, all the songs. The Canadian album? Yes. <laughs> Canada Canada 1, recording. Canada 2, Canada 3. <laughs> and I want to hear this album when I was <laughs> too. Everyone <laughs> hates us right now. <laughs> Just so you know. Well, yeah. stop, can everybody stop listening 25 minutes. Yeah, I'm kidding. <laughs> they realized we were talking about Paul Blart and they turned it off. You and I want to be able to talk about Paul Blart. I guess. I think it probably yeah, stomach did, we, did we forget to mention it? <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's not forget. We have a lot of gay fanboys. <laughs> <laughs> Shout outs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we may make them feel good. <laughs> I, I think we're... Are we losing a member here? What, 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 what do you say? You we're going to book out. What do you, what do you got? Well, we were going to play. Oh, okay. So yeah. if you're going to leave, this is your time to exit. All right, you're fine. You don't have to, though. No, you can stay. We like you. Kelly, it's already... Don't patronize me! <laughs> hey, don't adjust your dick at me. So what do you think you're happening? <laughs> I was scratching my you belly hair. You at me, sir. I, <laughs> <laughs> I was scratching my belly hair like you have been doing ever since we started this podcast. <laughs> did, you, did you notice me doing yeah. my hair? Yeah. 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 I saw you like blowing on it. <laughs> <laughs> I wish that this was I, a vlog. A vlog Drew has been doing the podcast. <laughs> Drew has been doing the podcast shirtless and has been mashing his tips together <laughs> and blowing on the chest hair in between them. It's amazing. It's actually. like a hairy forest. <laughs> wow. My chest is what Kelly's butt crack looks <laughs> like. <laughs> Come on. <now>. Harry <laughs> Forest, which is a very good Gordon Lightfoot song. <laughs> <laughs> So, so what's your deal, Kelly? Are you say, uh, um, um, should, should you stay or should you go? Okay. I'm talking about my tummy fat. For MMA? Yeah. For, for, for belly kiss. For when he fights Kevin James <laughs> in his next movie. Well, from what I saw in the previews, he does a pretty good job being up himself. Like a guy goes for a shoot, and before he even starts to shoot, he sprawls. Yeah. And he gets kicked in the face. Yeah. Right? Or knees in the face. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, Kelly, say goodbye to everyone who's not listening anymore. Bye, everybody but Alex. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Kelly's on his way. They're, they're going to be it slowly. Good hustle. They're going to they're gonna play a game. We're going to play a game. Wait. Maybe a few. One for the game. All right, so we're down a minute. We're down to three. Next time I see you, you better be wearing less pants. Yeah, say that. Kelly remarkably has the most pants on of anyone. Three pants. <laughs> <laughs> the most. <laughs> Try I'm only wearing two pants. <laughs> exactly. So, I guess it's game time. I don't know, and we're less than an hour into it. This may be something. We, nope. We'll go maximum another two and a half hours. So. <laughs> I think that our, keep, our, our Paul Blart tight. talk went longer than I thought it would. I was thinking 45. It went 45. I thought our talk would just be Paul Blart, it sucked, over. I don't know. There's a lot to get into with a movie with as many levels as a <laughs> it was deep. Paul Blart mock It was cop. very deep. We, we really had to peel the onion on that one. <laughs> well, I will say that I told you guys to get out at 11, or I told you you'd have to be out at 11. Did it you? is quarter to 12. I am not going to work tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> they can work it out on their own. I or, like or I could just stay up all night on a cocaine binge, Ooh. then go to work. I like that, too. I could work while high. Yeah. Don't work while drunk, though. You'll be feeling people's oh, faces. Oh, I'll be, yeah, and doing the worm, bad kip-ups, <laughs> which I already do, so... Yeah. You know how depressing it is that I used to be able to do perfect kip-ups. Now I'm afraid if I try, I'll pop out both knees. <laughs> That's how terribly my body has been broken down by wrestling. Time has ravaged you. Time has... Yeah, I, I might be older than both of you. <laughs> like, you guys are only a few years older than me. I am 40 years older than you. <laughs> I don't know, Chewie. We're still racing for that rascal. We're still racing for that rascal. 
I'm the picture of health. <laughs> you are the picture of health. You, tell me how many lives you got left. You still got seven? Eight? Oh, I got a solid seven. Six. Because <laughs> 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 you, you, you just waved at me and I got scared. <laughs> you, scared me, you scared me to death. I scared you to death. Down to six. All right. Six is good. I can I can write out six for a while. All right. Anyway, uh, did you write down bullet title runs? Is that what you did in there? I didn't. Write well, down I meant to write a whole bunch down, and I totally yeah. forgot. Uh, well, who's who's gonna host first? Because that'll determine. Oh, we're gonna rock, two out of three. Rock paper scissors. That's great for audio. What we have to we'll have to say what we throw at the time we throw it. Okay. <laughs> okay. So people can understand. So we'll go three, two, one, and then the yeah. thing. Okay. Three, two, two one. Scissors. Paper. That's me. Three, three two, two, one. one paper. Ooh. Oh. Three, two, one, rock! Three, two, one, rock! Ah, oh, scissors is what I meant to say. You, put, you threw scissors and said paper. <laughs> I'm going to take this as a win for me. Because now you're, now you're sig heiling. So now I pape. <laughs> papes. I got papes, dog. <laughs> the street version of rock, paper, scissors. On a completely unrelated note, because I just saluted you like Hitler. You know those Hitler Reacts videos on YouTube? Yeah. You should see the one Hitler Reacts to the Sandusky trial. It's pretty <laughs> goddamn funny. <laughs> I'll check it out. I do like all things Sandusky. <laughs> <laughs> Med State related. <laughs> so I won. What did that mean? What does that mean? Uh, you didn't determine what me winning does. I guess I get to choose. You get to choose, I guess, yeah. Um, I, will, I will host. First? Second. Second. Yes. So there. Uh, why are you putting your pants on? Are you cold? Yes. Chicken. So it is incumbent upon... Oh, I almost put my legs out. <laughs> coming upon you, Andrew... Douglas to Smith. Andrew Douglas Smith to come up yes. with a build the title for us. And have it be a good one where you know, we can actually do something the, with the it. Last one? And not your bullshit. Darkest Falls? Yeah, Darkest Falls is bad. I thought there'd be more. Uh... Because there, yeah, nothing came from Falls. Uh, nope, that's true. Um, let's see. It was a good one, you know, like a good one. Um, oh, this is gonna be a tough one. Is that the movie? This is gonna be a tough one. Nope, I'm going to go with Bad Company. The Anthony Hopkins, Chris Rock playing two. Oh, you don't have to tell me twice. <laughs> <laughs> Ask me how many times I've seen it. How many times I've seen it? Once. I've seen it once as well. <laughs> have you ever seen it? I have not. You don't need to. <laughs> Chris Rock playing a physical role and an action movie. <laughs> not his best <laughs> work. Yeah. See Madagascar 2, not a bad company. <laughs> <laughs> Who is going first? Me, because I said so? I don't care. Why don't you guys do goes first? <laughs> no, you, you can go first. You can go first, Scott. Bad company needful things. Ooh. Chewy, that is you. That is bad. It was bad. Or, uh, things? Yeah. Hmm. The only, thing I can, the only thing I can think of that ends in bad is Breaking Bad. I know, that's Breaking Bad, the movie. Yeah, maybe. Which doesn't end in bad. Uh, Emmy nomination. It isn't a real thing. <laughs> Emmy nomination just came out. I wonder if Brian Cranston will win his fourth consecutive Emmy, because that might be a record. Hmm. Not that, I, not that I've actually checked, but it just feels like it might be a record, because four, be. four Emmys in a row is, four is a lot. Tough, yeah. 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 Silence. Mm-hmm. This is very and, difficult. Ends in bad or starts with things or things? Mm. Uh, I think I would go with things the, before the, ings. The ing-laws? <laughs> no. That would even work because it's ings. There's got to be something the for ing-laws? bad. ing-laws? I've got one for things. Do you have one for things? Uh, things are, comma, where the... <laughs> wild? Where the wild... <laughs> That doesn't work at all. We totally fucked that up. Things are comma. Yeah. Where the, the wild. Where the wild. Yeah. Over the wild. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, not that. <laughs> Something has to end in bad besides breaking. 
can't actually think of one, but... Uh, <laughs> I can't either. I can make up things that could be... I've got one for both sides, because... Mother. I am an amazing... You are good at this game. ...piece of work. You are good at this game. Fuck <laughs> Justin's, Justin's mad. Drew, I will let you decide on the time allotment while Justin has a small cry. Well, he's having a cry and a brain aneurysm, so I guess that means it's over. Uh, give me, give me, give me... Yeah. Give me. Just let me rest my eyes for a minute. <laughs> oh. oh boy. Drew, what do you what do you think? Drew, what's going on with you, Drew? <laughs> I I think that uh, um, we're gonna play a second round of this. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna play second round yes. of this. All right. All right, what, what did you have, you, Scott? You want to hear some stuff? Yeah, I do. I do. Super bad company needful things mm-hmm. we lost in the fire. Hey. Hey. Good. Can I have, like, 12 points? Never that? saw it, but wanted to. I, 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 heard it was, that I heard they wanted it to be their Oscar bait for the year, and it was so bad, they, like, the company totally switched to a, another movie. I guess that was Halle Berry right? and... Benicio. Yeah, super bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, uh, ugh, I hope this one works better. Sleepy Hollow? Yeah. So, Sleep Hollow? Yeah, Sleepy can, Hollow. Is that with you? Do something Joey? with it. Okay. Okay. I, can, I can think of a couple for both ends, so that's I why got, I thought of it. One. You're starting, Jerry? Yes, I know. Oh, okay, I wasn't sure. You were just staring at Scott, so... While well, Scott sits there, it's almost spread eagle. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a movie, that's a song. <laughs> I would say a little rider. I think an easy rider. <laughs> <laughs> Neither of those work. L- low, low rider would, if it was a movie, which it's not. Why am I so bad at this? I don't know. Because you're drunk. Uh, no, you're not drunk enough. Oh, you need uh, to get drunk. Yeah. Uh, and make sure there's some <laughs> LSD in your beer. Yeah, you need to act like a crazy idiot. <laughs> Uh, Should we let Scott start? Yes, let Scott start. Please, Scott, please. Start. Just, 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 just play for the both of us. <laughs> Let's go back and forth against myself. I'll do Paul F. Tompkins doing three characters playing against himself. <laughs> uh, the Big Sleepy Hollow. That's not a big, as opposed to the. Yeah, no, yeah, no we don't. We, the gets. The, gets the, art, articles get X'd yeah. out. Okay. But that being said, you can't just say big. Because <laughs> then Sky can just say a big, and it's a never-ending rules of no return. And the universe collapses. Exploding and holes filled with wieners of massive proportions. <laughs> big or hollow? Or low? And what was yours again? The, the, the big, big, the big sleepy, sleepy hollow. Sleep. The big sleepy, or just <laughs> big sleepy, sleepy hollow, man. There you oh, go. Man, there you go. I was going to go with low down dirty shame. Yep. Uh, that was my low. Fuck you, moth. Uh, the big sleepy hollow man in the iron mask. <laughs> what? Is he, I think he's thinking. I think of mask too. Son of <laughs> mask. <laughs> Son of mask. <laughs> actually called the mask too, is it? It's called mask too, son of, son of the mask. Is that what you're going with? <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> so, it goes from mask to mask. No, I'm not going to do that. Well, let's do that. I already wrote it down, so it happens. Okay, all right then. Is it actually that, or is it just son of the mask? I think it's just son of mask. Is it son of mask? Let's see what Leonard has to say okay. about it. Didn't see it. <laughs> what do we got? Son of Rambo? Another movie I meant to see and never saw. Just Son of the Mask. Okay. Okay. Rating bomb. <laughs> I can see that. The bomb. Jamie Kennedy. Jamie Kennedy. And isn't Alan Cumming in that too? Uh, yes. yes. Second build. Terrible. Oh, Jamie Kennedy. Yeah, Jamie Kennedy. Thanks. Jamie Kennedy does some good stuff. Uh, sure. He's <laughs> <laughs> in Three Kings. He's not one of the Three Kings. No, but he's in it. <laughs> he's, got a, he's got a minor role. 
Might, so might be involved in a good movie. Might, minor enough for it still to be good. Yep. Oh, I forget about Son of the Pink Panther. Oh, yeah. 1993, Roberto Benigni. Yikes. Yeah. yeah. That's terrible. Probably still better than Steve Martin and Pink Panther. Yeah, well, for sure. For sure. Well, yeah, you know, it's relative. That made me hate Steve Martin, actually. Yeah. I like everything he's in except for the Pink Panther movies. I do pretty much like most of the Steve Martin stuff, but uh, Pink Panther... Pink uh, Plains, Trains, Automobiles go fuck is one of my favorite yep. like, movies of my early childhood. Definitely a good movie. But anyway. So it's... Sli- uh, Man Bigger Mask. mask. Bigger Mask. Or Ask. Or Ask Jeeves the movie. Ask Jeeves the movie. A classic. Yeah. Well, during this uh, radio silence, <laughs> Scott, we are observing radio silence. Yes. That's true. What do you think the chances are that Trudy gets a movie? <laughs> <laughs> well, thus far, <laughs> based on track record, I'm one for two. In that you've named one movie over two games? <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, of two chances that I've had. Uh, okay. It felt like you had more chances. <laughs> I guess it's just the chances themselves were so long. Yes. I can't really think of anything. What's wrong with me? I don't have anything right now. I feel like mm. there's stuff out there, though. <laughs> like, it feel, like, I feel like this should be, like... Like Masked Marvel or Masked Avenger. Should I just assume Masked Avenger is a movie that exists in some language and some can, form? You can throw it out there and I'm happy to look it up. Alright, let's go with Masked Avenger. Masked Avenger. No! <laughs> Get down! Only movie that starts with Masked is Masked and Anonymous, starring Bob Dylan. Yikes. 2003. Direct, what? Directed by Larry Charles of Seinfeld and Kirby Enthusiasm. Weird. Directing uh, Seinfeld and Kirby Enthusiasm. I'm not yeah. confusing him with Larry David. <laughs> interesting, actually really interesting cast. What the hell is this movie? A faded music legend is freed from jail to headline a televised ben- benefit concert. Uh, Angela Bassett, Bruce Dern, Ed Harris, Val Kilmer, Cheech Marin, Chris Penn, Giovanni Ribisi, Mickey Rourke, Christian Slater, and Fred Ward are among those who appear in cameos. And the cast is Bob Dylan, Jeff Bridges, Penelope Cruz, John Goodman, Jessica Lange, Luke Wilson. That's a phenomenal cast. What the fuck is this? Yeah. Never heard of this. We stumbled Star- across a classic. Star and a half. Masked and Anonymous is the name of this movie that no one's heard of. Let's look it up later. We'll deal with that another time. Uh, okay. Uh, anyway, I guess I won that. Yeah, um, keep yeah. things moving... I I didn't have anything off the top of my head. Is Mr. Big a movie? Did we? I think we talked about that before. We talked about it last wasn't. time. We talked yeah. about it being an artist from like the <laughs> yeah, like a music artist yeah. from the yeah. 80s. Yeah, but yeah, it's not actually a movie. I think doesn't uh, appear to be. No. All right. Well, that was uneventful. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna make sure that for next time I have a bunch written. We there. actually have some, yeah. Because I definitely meant to and then forgot. Okay, so I'll come up with stuff so I won't be the one always losing at these games. <laughs> yeah, you get the host. You have a very bad uh, and, and watch other people lose. You have a very bad track record. I need that. Oh yeah. For uh, for these things. Information pad. Okay. And just got here back again. This is the end of part one of episode four. Stay tuned for episode four point five, the thrilling conclusion to the show. We'll see you soon.